happened to be was a perfect rigger in that election. And that you rigged in the southeast. That he is surprised that a candidate will be reporting 97% of the votes from certain states. Of yes, so yes, so my people, now welcome back to this channel. You are welcome back. If this is your first time, you are highly welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on that bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime when I drop another video. Yes, as I don't see a man, they don't accuse Peter will be saying he rigged the 2023 presidential election. Say he rigged him. Say how you could call it possible. Say for the first time we've seen the comment in score almost 97 percent on southeast. Say you know they possible. Say if you know Regan, say the thing knows you they possible. Anyway, you get what you talk. We be say I go like make you calm down watch. I go advise you make you watch this video. Make you stick and watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you go hear everything we be saying talk. And please, as you watch them, don't forget to share this video. Okay, guys, to share them. Yes, the share the video. And please don't forget to comment what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell icon. And please don't forget to click on the join button so that you can join my membership. Thank you guys and God bless you. See you in my next video. One love. Mr. Peter B was a perfect rigger in that election. And that you rigged in the southeast. That he is surprised that a candidate will be reporting 97% of the votes from certain states of the federation. Of course, uh, Atiku Abubakar, presidential candidate of the PDP himself, had admitted that your leaving the PDP hurt his chances in that election. What do you say to these general comments on your presidential race? Well, uh, Uber, my first reaction generally is that uh, I, was, I contested the election. I wasn't contesting it to help anybody to win. And I continue to say that even the declared winner did not win. You might have been declared by whatever means, but if no one election, Ruben to win is to win the people. Democracy is government of the people by the people for the people that means if you must win you must win the people but if you don't win the people you don't want and i can tell you the last election the declared person did not win however that is what we're challenging the rascality is what we're challenging on the various comments let me choose if you have they know a mockery. Ordinarily, I won't comment on anything because I only comment on or reply fellow presidential candidates, not their spokesperson, because they're not contesting. Or was this something that I have never participated or been part of was mentioned, I need to reply it. Ruben, I have never and I will never ask anybody to add one vote, one vote for me that doesn't rightfully belong to me. I've never paid anybody to rig election for me. Go all over Nigeria and ask anybody in INEC, the so-called EOs, resident commissioners, everybody, whether any of them have met Peter B. Saying do this. Go ask police, army, anybody. Never. They are referees. It is their job to do their job. I've never. The issue of where I got 97% is in the Alhambra State. Reno Mokri forgot that in, in 2019, go and check the records, where PDP had the highest vote was in Alhambra State. Well, in 2019, when I was vice presidential candidate to Atiku, I vote in Anambra State was 95 point something, almost 96 percent. That's why PDP got the highest vote because I was on that ballot, and they know me. Remember, I live in Onitsha. If you want to know whether I get 95 percent in Anambra State, come and go to Anambra State with me. I don't need police. When I come out, you see the reaction of the people. In fact, I'm actually surprised I didn't get 100 percent.
consent. I'm telling you because I don't know who will be voting against me in any other state. In the Southeast, it's a similar situation. People know me. People know what I stand for. People know I've kept to my promises. People know I've kept to what I've said. It's a simple thing. It's like people go about and say, oh, he got, uh, he, he got votes in Lagos because of the Igbos. How many Igbos live in Lagos? I got more votes from indigenous in Lagos than those who are, you can call visitors. I didn't was in Nasarawa, I didn't was in Plateau, I didn't was in in in, in um, Abuja. In rivers where you know that the governor came out against me with everything. I said, if the real vote of rivers were counted, Ruben I won. I have over 50 something percent of the vote. The other two parties were sharing the order. And it was, I won in answer. Is it, is it, is it, it was so, would you say it's rigging? Which machinery do I have to rig? I have no counselor, I have no local government chairman, no this thing. I'm not in control of police, I don't even know any DPO. So which machinery will I use to rig? How will you do? These are, they are the ones who I believe in this. What they are doing is what I'm trying to change. So those who sell it after the side what I came for are part of the people we are trying to change.